Hi, Trevor here. I'm going to go over a issue with Adobe Acrobat 2017 with Microsoft Office 2016. Now, this issue comes from an Adobe update that happens and what essentially the outcome is is the Adobe update breaks the Microsoft Office save as PDF add-on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reinstall Acrobat as administrator and we're going to go through the process, show uh, the whole thing, apply the update and show the update breaking it. Once I do the install, in Microsoft Office, uh, the add-in com will show up and it will operate properly. But once a Adobe update happens, the add-in will no longer be available. And Adobe's fix for this is to upgrade your version of Acrobat. Which doesn't seem right in my opinion. Unfortunately, there's no real good way to fix this. Uh, so my solution for this problem is to disable the Adobe PDF plugin that gets installed when you install Acrobat 2017. So we have Acrobat. Let's go to Office. Open a blank workbook. Save as Adobe PDF. We can see PDF Maker works fine. Now, let's check for updates. It's going to connect, download, and install. Got to close Acrobat. It'll install the update, and the add in will stop working. Now you're probably asking me, so why would you update the software then? Well, obviously you know that reason. Uh, security patches, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Even though it breaks a simple office add-in. All right, so we've updated our version of Acrobat. Go to save as PDF and you can see we get the PDF maker alert. And as I said, Adobe's fix for this is to upgrade your version of Acrobat. So I'm just going to go to the add-ins and disable the component. And now the save as PDF is no longer there. It's unfortunate that uh, that's what I have to do, but short of doing a software upgrade that I shouldn't have to do because nothing has changed for this system in the last two years software-wise, besides keeping up with uh, Windows 10 OS updates. It's something interesting you might want to know and uh, might want to, if you have this problem as well, send an email to Adobe because they really should fix their product when their software update is the thing that originally breaks it. I have hoped you found this useful. Have a good day.